Well, we have shared many stories of the Ethiopian community here in Colorado. Unfortunately, over the past couple of years, much has been about the war going on in Ethiopia. But today, the community gathered to celebrate the best parts of their culture with food and festivities here in Denver. Michael Abeda is there right now. And Michael, this is certainly a great chance to show the brighter side of Ethiopia. Yeah, you know, Kelly, you've probably seen the restaurants on Colfax Avenue. That's the Ethiopian restaurants, or maybe even eaten one or two of them. But I bet you didn't know just how large and influential the, influ the Ethiopian community is here in Colorado. There was a celebration in Northeast Denver on Saturday. The Taste of Ethiopia Festival was held for the ninth time. It was well attended, but that's no surprise to Nebu Asfau, who says the Ethiopian population in Denver is between 30 and 40,000 people. That makes it uh, the second largest uh, foreign-born population in Colorado. He says the migration from Africa to the Rockies started in the 70s and has only picked up because Colorado has welcomed Ethiopians with open arms. But the people of Denver have completely embraced us. They've embraced the culture, the music, the food, and we're just happy to be part of uh, the Denver fe festival scene. Well, I love Ethiopian food, so does our family. It's great, it's great the Ethiopian music, Ethiopian coffee. One of those people is Governor Jared Polis. He says he sees firsthand how much the community helps the state. It's great, the contributions they're making every day to our culture, uh, food, small business people, entrepreneurs, and this Taste of Ethiopia is really just a celebration of that. <laughs> And while this is a one-day event with a plethora of restaurants, coffee shops, and small businesses in Denver and Aurora, Coloradans can celebrate Ethiopia anytime they want. Experience the Ethiopian culture is a complete cultural immersion, and this is what Colorado is. Now you still have some time to get down here. The event goes until 9 o'clock tonight, and there's going to be a fashion show. There's always the food down here. So if you want a taste of Ethiopia before this ends, you better get to the park here in Green Valley Ranch. In Denver, Michael Aveda covering Colorado first. Sounds like a good time there, Michael. Thank you.